Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. My last video I was talking about Xbox Series X name and how it was in my opinion bad naming. It was hard, long and not very unique to the Xbox family. But now my confusion is confirmed. Phil Spencer, the Xbox boss division, had talked about the name with GameSpot and they need to clarify the naming. So the system is not called Xbox Series X. So it is called now the Xbox and this specific model called Series X. Well, before dwelling into the naming, I just want to state a fact here. Whenever you're talking to the media to try to clarify something, that means this thing is confusing. So the moment that Phil Spencer talked about the name with GameSpot to clarify the name, then it is confusing. Same thing happened with Business Insider. A Microsoft representative talked about the naming as well. So the media and the consumers was waiting for Microsoft to clarify the name. This is exactly what happened with Xbox One when it was launched. In 2013, Microsoft didn't clarify a lot of stuff or they introduced a lot of stuff but they didn't clarify them very well. And one part of that are the DRM they include in the Xbox One. People start asking again if they can play used game, if they have to be all time connected to the internet. The media was confused and that was one contribution to the downfall of the Xbox One. And even the position or the orientation of the Xbox Series X, I'm calling it Series X now, the new Xbox. Microsoft showed the console standing vertically and people start asking, can we lay it horizontally? Well, Microsoft has to step in again and confirm that you can lay it vertically or horizontally. This confusion happened because Microsoft badly presented the new Xbox. But still, the spec and the game they shown was amazing. It's just the naming and this orientation of the console itself. So let's go back again to the naming. So the new Xbox and the model will be called Series X. So this definitely shows that Microsoft is willing to do another model and it probably will be called Series S. So they immediately confirm there's another console. When it will be released, we don't know. Maybe it is Lockhart, the one that will hit 2020 holiday as well. We don't know. But how the consumers will take the naming into perspective? Shall I call it Xbox, Xbox Series X, or just call it Series X? Because if I call it Xbox, other people will mix up with Xbox One X. Or if I even say Series X, they will definitely mix it up with One X. And what makes the matter worse is the fact that Xbox One X will be sold alongside Xbox Series X. So when you go for Best Buy, for example, you say, I need Xbox. Saying Xbox alone does not mean much or does not give much for the consumers, for the workers, for the media, no. And even if I go to the store and say I need Series X, what is Series X? Maybe they will mix it up with Model X from Tesla. But I'm really wondering why Microsoft is really willing to distinguish this model from now. Like naming it before the release by 12 or 11 months with Series X. Why they need to distinguish it, although there is no other new console is coming to distinguish it from the other one. Just call it Xbox and that's it. You don't have to give it another abbreviation. And by all means, Microsoft or the new Xbox will never fail. It just forced the consumers to do a little bit more research before going and buying a new Xbox. Here I'm saying a new Xbox, so I'm not specifying which Xbox exactly, so this is a big confusion. Unlike for example Switch, which is sold with Switch Lite, but Switch Lite came later on on the life cycle of the Switch. So people knew that Switch will be able to be a hybrid and a console at the same time, while the Switch Lite will be just a handheld. And it is very clear from the box. But well, this problem persists so much with Microsoft. They have a bad history with naming and the only product they got right was the Surface Book, Surface Laptop and the Surface Pro. This is the only family of devices that got their name correctly. Anyway guys, thank you for watching.